Do you have curly hair but prefer to wash your hair at night? This video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is the evening, I am in my pyjamas and I'm gonna go to bed quite soon. Um, but I needed to wash my hair and I thought it was a really good opportunity to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, washing your hair at night. So quite often people get in touch with me and say, but I shower at night, I wash my hair at night how can I do my curly routine? Like, what do I do? So as with all things curly hair journey, you have a few options. Um, one option is you could just wash, condition your hair and then let it dry, either blast it with the hair dryer or diffuse it or let it air dry. Uh, don't style it at all and just go to sleep and then re-wet and style it in the morning. And that's often known as wash now, style later. And I have a few videos on that. I will link one for you if you want to go watch and see how I do that. Um, another option is do your full styling routine, which is what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna do a quick styling routine, just using my hands, no brushes. And uh, then after you've done your styling routine and dried your hair, you have two options at that point. You can either sleep in your cast. So when your products form a crispy, crunchy cast on your hair, which we usually scrunch out, you cannot scrunch out that cast and you can put on your sleep protection, whether it's a buff, a pineapple, satin pillowcase, a bonnet, whatever it is that you use and sleep with it in that crunchy cast. Sometimes sleeping will actually kind of scrunch out the cast for you or you can wake up in the morning, scrunch out the cast and some people have amazing results with that and it looks like they've just done their hair first thing in the morning, which is ideal. I don't have success with that method. Whenever I've tried it, it just ruins all the hard work I've just put in styling my hair. It does not work for me. So by all means, try it. It might be an absolute lifesaver for you, but it doesn't work for me. What I like to do and what I'm gonna show you now is a quick styling routine if I'm washing in the evening, fully dry my hair with a diffuser and then scrunch out the crunch, let it settle, put on my buff and go to bed. So my hair is fairly wet, but it's not absolutely dripping. I am just gonna slightly re-wet it. By the way, people always ask about this gorgeous little turban. It's from a little woman run business called Modiste Rousseau's and I'll link her site in the description. I absolutely love this little turban. It's so cute. If you ever had to leave the house and your hair was wet, I mean, this makes you look cool, right? So I am just gonna wet my hair a little bit more. Um, maybe not quite as soaking wet as I would want it if I was doing like brush styling because I'm not going to use a brush to style I'm just going to do a quick a quick routine using my fingers but I just wanted it to be just a little more wet because I do it's funny my hair for a really long time preferred to be styled damp like it wasn't not damp kind of between wet and damp between soaking wet and damp it's hard to describe. It needed to be wet, but not dripping wet. Whereas now, my hair really, really likes being styled on much wetter hair. So there we go. It's not dripping, but it's wet enough that, you know, it's got that sort of slip. You can really just get your hands through it easily. I am gonna be trying, I don't know if it's the best time to be trying it, but I'm gonna be trying the new foam from Only Curls London. And I did actually try this for a refresh the other day and um, it, it's got such a lovely feel to it. So it's called Volumizing Curl Mousse, but it's a foam really, you know, it's in this kind of manual aerated bottle, um, which means it's a foam rather than a mousse like in an aerosol can. And it's a much lighter, more airy sort of formula than a traditional mousse but it is still lovely and creamy. It's got a really nice creamy consistency actually. And it's quite protein enriched, this foam. Um, oh, it smells just lovely as all Only Curls products do. And I'm just gonna rake that through my hair. It's got really, really nice slip. I've been seeing some amazing results um, on Instagram with a few uh, curly hair specialists, like stylists using this on their clients and getting beautifully designed, def defined, beautifully defined results. So um, I am quite excited to try it. Okay, so I don't wanna go crazy. I don't wanna add tons of product because obviously I want this to dry quickly because it's nighttime. So I think that will do. And I thought, because we're trying that new, that new foam, I'm gonna go with a tried and true gel that I know my hair loves, and it's the Curlsmith Flexi Jelly. Look at the size of this bottle. Oh, makes me so happy to, I'll never run out. 
So I'm going in with a good sized blob. Again, smells divine. I'm just going to rake it through. And as you rake your hair with your hands, if you want to try and encourage clumping, you can kind of grab the hair a little bit as you rake. And you see that helps create some clumps. I definitely find that that way of raking works a lot better for my hair than just kind of open finger raking. It kind of adds a bit of definition, which open finger raking doesn't. So I'm just gonna rake that away from my scalp. All the way over. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then that will be this, that'll be it done. And I will diffuse. are in bed and I'm dropping bottles on the floor. It wouldn't be a uh, Marisa's Curls YouTube video if I didn't drop something though, would it? <laughs> Always seem to be dropping things. I think I'm going to just pop in a little bit of a parting and I'm gonna go and grab my diffuser. Just looked at my hair in the mirror and I'm thinking what have I forgotten and I've just realized I haven't scrunched my hair at all. <laughs> you don't have to scrunch it. I mean, I know quite a lot of people do the no scrunch method, but I do prefer to give my hair a gentle scrunch. Now I have actually something else quite, I'm quite excited about to show you and it's the Dyson attachment, like the wide tooth comb attachment. And I've had a Dyson for years, but this wasn't invented when I got my Dyson and I managed to get my hands on one. I bought it and it arrived just the other day because I've been meaning to try it. I've seen a few curly girls use it to lift their roots. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, so I've already learned that <laughs> it's a lot more of a powerful shot. Obviously that's coming out of this because the air is coming from behind the nozzles behind the prongs, sorry. So I definitely need to have much lower power so it's not gonna just blow my hair about. So I'm gonna turn the power right down to one and the heat down to one. It's definitely drying my roots really fast and I do feel like it's giving it a good amount of a lift. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but let's keep going. Okay. Well, I think it dried my roots faster than I normally would with, with the diffuser. I feel like it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. We'll see how the results end up. Before I switch to my diffuser, I remembered something that I wanted to talk about and that was why I didn't list in the options for nighttime washing, why I didn't list going to bed with wet hair. And there's a good reason that I didn't because it's something that I definitely don't recommend. And the reasons are twofold. First of all, it is it can be really bad for your hair. So when your hair gets wet, the hair shaft swells with water. And when your hair dries, it goes back, shrinks back down to normal. But if you allow your hair to be wet for a long extended period of time, especially if it's on a regular basis, the hair shaft can actually stay swollen and not close back down. It can cause pretty much irreparable damage to the hair shaft. And this is called hygral fatigue. So you may have heard about it. It's not the same as your hair just being over conditioned or over moisturized. It's a much more severe thing. And it happens when your hair is allowed to be wet for regular extended periods of time. So that's one reason I wouldn't recommend sleeping on wet hair. And the second reason is for your scalp. Again, having your scalp stay wet for a long time, which is likely to happen because your head is against the pillow when you sleep and you know the airflow doesn't get around to dry your scalp. It can actually encourage fungal growth, which none of us want on our heads or any part of our bodies. Um, so obviously, like sometimes we might all fall asleep with wet hair, it might happen occasionally. That's not the end of the world, but it's certainly not something that I would recommend or is advisable to do on a regular basis. So I just wanted to add that in here because um, yeah, if you're having issues and you're sleeping on wet hair, then, then that could explain it for you. Just put my diffuser on and I'm just gonna finish off diffusing my hair. Okay, so I am all diffused. My hair is completely dry. Um, it didn't take very long actually. And I did do a tiny little bit of this master's technique where 
when my hair was kind of 70% dry, I just wet my hands slightly, add a tiny bit more of the Flexi Jelly and kind of smoothed over that top layer. Um, and I find that just gives a little bit more hold and it's smoothed down the, um, the frizz. I'm pretty sure I have a video on it, which I will link. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really pleased with these results. It's been a really long time, months, since I've done a wash day without using a brush at all. And I was almost a little bit nervous because it's almost become a little bit of an addiction. So I'm really pleased with how it looks. It, it's got just a lovely kind of fluid movement. It's got a tiny bit of a cast, so I am gonna scrunch that out fully now and give it a little bit of a fluff. I don't like to over fluff it um, when I wash at night because, you know, I allow it to kind of keep as much of that definition um, as I can. So it feels beautifully soft. I rarely use oils on my hair, but I think tonight I am going to use just literally two drops, like tiniest little bit of the bonding oil from Carl Smith. Gonna, when I use oils on my hair, I don't just put it in my hand and put it straight on my hair. I kind of rub the oil almost into my hands first so that it's just a slight kind of oily coating on my hands. And that stops it from making my hair greasy at all. And I just want it to give my hair a little touch of sealing, basically. Um, and that should soak into my hair nicely overnight uh, while it's in my buff. And then hopefully it'll all be good in the morning. But yeah, it feels really, really nice. And first impressions of that Only Curls foam are really good. Yeah, so I'm really excited to keep experimenting with it. Um, so I have my buff my blue one, my Marge Simpson-esque buff. And generally I would just let my hair settle for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever, a little bit longer if I have it. And then on my buff goes like this. Just gently tuck my hair down inside and you can tie the top if you want or you can just fold it over like that. And that's it, ready to sleep. I will check in with you in the morning and let you see how it looks after sleeping on it. Good night. Good morning. I am just up. <laughs> Hence the croaky morning voice and very, very puffy face. But um, we've got to be out soon, so I thought I'd just show you how my hair looks straight out the buff. Give it a good fluff. It smells good. I love that when I've washed my hair and then put it in the buff and you take the buff off in the morning and it smells just lovely. Um, that looks pretty good, but I haven't got my contact lenses in yet, so I can't actually see <laughs> in the monitor if it looks good, but I think it does. Um, I'm gonna go and have my coffee, get myself ready, makeup on, dressed, and then um, I will give you a final check-in, but I think it's promising. Hey guys, so I've let my hair settle, I've gotten ready in my dress. <laughs> I love this dress. Um, and yeah, I'm actually really pleased with it. It was looking a bit crazy and I just grabbed my trusty Umberto Janini Curl Refresh Spray. I just I couldn't live without this stuff. And I literally sprayed a few sprays in my hands and it was just this sort of front section and a couple of these bits under here. I just smoothed it over and scrunched it and it's instantly brought the curl back and I'm actually really pleased. I've not, of course I've not looked at the back. I never look at the back before you. <laughs> I, I just can't take that away from you. It's your privilege to look at the back of my hair. How does it look? I saw somebody the other day, like the back of my hair is not my business. And I that really resonated with me. It's terrible, I always forget to look. But anyway, so, I hope that video was helpful, some ideas if you do wash your hair at night. Um, and um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.